गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रन टूडे वी शाल लर्न अबाउट एनिमल रिप्रोडक्शन हैव यू एवर सीन अ चिक कमिंग आउट ऑफ बर्ड्स एग हाउ डज अ चिक ग्रो इन साइड द एग वी ऑलरेडी नो अबाउट द फर्टिलाइजेशन इन प्लांट्स आफ्टर पॉलिनेशन द मेल गैमिट इन द पोलन ग्रेन ट्रेवल्स टू द ओवरी एंड फ्यूजेस विद द फीमेल गैमिट इन साइड द ओव्यूल to form a zygote then zygote cell multiplies to form embryo in the seed the embryo grows into a seedling if seed gets proper warmth air and water when male and female gamete fuse to create a zygote that kind of reproduction is called sexual reproduction you know Sexual reproduction is common in animals too and the process is the same which means a male gamete and a female gamete fuses to create a zygote and then the zygote turns into an embryo the female gamete is called ovum and the male gamete is called sperm the fusion of ovum and sperm is called fertilization here the fertilization is happening inside the female reproductive organ of the flower when fertilization occurs somewhere inside the female reproductive system that is called internal fertilization internal fertilization is common in animals too in animals the internal fertilization occurs in the reproductive organ in the female body the male produces male gamete and female produces female gamete for internal fertilization the male gamete enters the female reproductive system as the internal fertilization occurs inside the female reproductive system you know fertilization may occur outside the animal's body too such fertilization is called external fertilization external fertilization mainly occurs in aquatic environment the female lays eggs and the eggs contain female gametes the male ejects sperms in water which fertilizes the eggs when they come in contact with them external fertilization is common in aquatic creatures like fish starfish crab oyster squid etc animals such as hen frog lizard and butterfly which lay eggs are called oviparous animals on the other hand animals such as human beings cows sheep dogs that give birth to young ones are called viviparous animals so you can say mammals are viviparous animals so to sum up what we learned today today we learned about sexual reproduction in animals reproduction resulting from the fusion of male and female gametes is called sexual reproduction fertilization that takes place inside the female body is called internal fertilization for example in hens cows dogs etc fertilization that takes place outside the female body is called external fertilization for example frogs fish starfish etc Animals which give birth to young ones are called viviparous animals for example cat and deer and lastly animals which lay eggs are called oviparous animals for example hen frog lizard and butterfly that's all for today bye bye children